orbit. Beyond the blue. I don't know about you, but I for one am sure that aliens have visited Earth. Now, it may have been in the distant past when dinosaurs roamed the planet. Or, maybe, they saw humans and took a U-turn and left, never to return again. If you ask me, the latter seems more probable, given the kind of activities we have been up to lately. Aliens, UFOs and life in outer space, these are some topics that will forever be ambiguous, and the answers to them would only be found once we come in contact with extraterrestrial life. But when will that happen? For years, conspiracy theories about UFO sightings around the world have surfaced, only to be debunked by experts later. I can tell you with absolute confidence that it isn't only me who has seen a strange object in the sky for a fleeting moment, before it disappeared into thin air. Which brings me to my next point, and I am sure, again, that you'd agree. It is believed that the United States is in contact with aliens, and that's why the highly classified Area 51 remains inaccessible to the common people. Also with the recent shootings of unidentified flying objects, and then there is the Pentagon report. Things are changing drastically as we speak. Recently, a Pentagon official and a Harvard scientist made a stunning proposition. The viewers of this channel will be familiar with a theory that suggested the possibility of an alien mothership is present in our solar system, which may be monitoring the Earth with tiny probes. A few weeks ago, the Pentagon's Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Research Office noted in a report that there is a possibility that extraterrestrial life and airships may be visiting our solar system. Director of the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, Sean Kirkpatrick, along with Abraham Loeb, Chairman of Harvard University's Astronomy Department, co-authored this research report. The report mentioned that an artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft that releases many small probes during its close passage to Earth, an operational construct not too dissimilar from how NASA missions operate. Now, a scientist employed by the government of Switzerland has made a bold prediction about the discovery of alien life, and his reasoning seems pretty compelling. As per reports, Dr. Sasha Quans of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology said that humans are likely to discover life beyond our planet within the next 25 years. In 1995, Quans and his colleague Didier Quilas discovered the first planet outside our solar system. Today, more than 5,000 exoplanets are known and more are being discovered on a daily basis. Of those thousands of exoplanets, Dozens are believed to be at least potentially habitable, residing in the Goldilocks zone and with the conditions on their surface being ripe for liquid water. Now, these fascinating worlds are inviting closer scrutiny with advanced technology like the James Webb and projects that are work in progress. We need to investigate the atmospheres of these planets, the Swiss professor said. We need an observational approach that would allow us to take pictures of these planets. Though the James Webb Space Telescope has already captured arresting images of one giant exoplanet, its primary focus is on imagery of stars and is not powerful enough to capture images of smaller exoplanets. That's where two of the astrophysicists' projects come in. A giant ground-based instrument being developed as an addition to the extremely large telescope that's currently under construction in Chile, and a European Space Agency mission to study the atmospheres of exoplanets for signs of extraterrestrial life. That latter mission, known as Large Interferometer for Exoplanets or Life for short, which was conceived in 2017, is still in an early study phase, and has not yet received either approval or funding from the ESA. Nevertheless, Quans characterized the LIFE program as a candidate for a future large mission within the ESA science program, which is itself a huge step for the search for intelligent life SETI community.
which has gained unprecedented traction in recent years. As the scientific community begins to take the concept of us not being alone in the universe far more seriously than ever before. Quantz has given his search for life outside of our solar system a 25-year deadline, which he believes is not unrealistic. There's no guarantee for success, the researcher said. But we're going to learn other things on the way. This is not the first time a credible source has made this claim. Last year a former NASA chief scientist echoed the same sentiments, that we will soon have a close encounter with aliens. Yes, you heard that right. Jim Green, who retired as NASA's chief scientist in January this year, told BBC, many of them are in places much like the Earth, where we can receive the light from the sun, and we can have water. And not only in liquid form, frozen form and vapor form. These are important conditions we believe for life. He added that they were making enormous progress, and the 40 years that he was in the space industry, they understood a lot of things they earlier couldn't. Okay, tell me how this doesn't sound like they are in touch with aliens already. Moving on, he also said that the James Webb Telescope would be able to help them analyze atmospheres of currently unreachable planets, and NASA would be able to tease us with some images of such planets. Jim called this a huge step forward, and that we could see some astounding discoveries in the next handful of years. He also said that the telescope could help them compare the atmosphere of remote planets to the ones they already know about. We are going to be comparing these atmospheres to the ones we know. Are they more Venus-like? Are they more Mars-like? Are they more Earth-like? He said. These studies could be the key to answering the question are we all alone in the vastness of this universe? It will be interesting to know what such studies reveal. They could also confirm if any of the UFO sightings in the past were real. Only recently, NASA formed a team to study UFO sightings around the world. And not just that, NASA head Bill Nelson said that he believes on accounts of UFOs. We're taking this very seriously. I've talked to the Navy pilots that know that they saw something back in 2004. They tracked it on their radar off the Southern California coast, over the Pacific. Since then, hundreds of objects have been spotted, and a couple of them were explained. They may be balloons, but most of them are unexplained. So I've asked NASA, and it will be announced within a few days, to approach this subject from a scientific standpoint, since we are a scientific research organization. In about eight months, they are going to report, Nelson told a news briefing. Something is definitely up. It feels as though we are on the brink of a major discovery. But, what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the Blue.